Good job. <laughs> nice way to spend a Friday night. And this guy's obviously, uh, he's made it. Still adjustable. Good. Welcome back, all ten of you who probably watched this kind of thing. Uh, it's the day that all ten of you have probably been uh, been waiting for, I guess, which is the day when we're changing this 2021 850 Assault into what we've decided is kind of like an SKS. But really, what I found out is that the SKS Kurt actually had a wider front end. Oh, really? Then, uh, I mean, then an RMK. A this is a 36 inch kit, right? Yeah. And turns out that the RMK, or sorry, the SKS has a, it's variable, but it's 39, I mean, yeah, 39 to 41. Yeah, you can change. So this is more turning it into an RMK front end. So we're just gonna shoot the install here. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse and uh, I'll turn it into a bit of a video should be an interesting project uh we've gotten like a foot and a half of snow over the last week here and uh we're going to wawa for next weekend so we're we're getting ready and it's it's the time to do it so here we go i'll show you a quick overview of we got the shocks back from rebuild which we knew were out for that parts are getting laid out we actually brought in the lift to make this process a little bit easier so i'm just going to set up the camera and i'll probably grab it from time to time and and give you a little overview of the progress that we're making but until then i'll set up the camera for a time lapse So there it is without a front end. Maybe. Well, one half of one front end and then I got into, uh, we're gonna put his tether on as well. And uh, I realized that I didn't make a video on doing this the last time. So maybe I'll, I wasn't gonna mention it again today either, but it is, it is maybe worth mentioning. So here's the wire harness that you're getting into right underneath the, this plastic panel here. Sorry, I think it stopped recording there. This is the wire harness that you're getting into under this plastic panel here and you're looking for, I'll show you what this looks like. Cause you gotta be looking for this. And of course it was buried behind every other wire. So when you find it underneath every other wire, it looks like that. Let's see if, I don't know if that's focused or not. So we're gonna plug our tether into that, drill a hole into the plastic and then get all these wires back into this wiring bag here. This is also where your auxiliary is. Would you ever wanna have your auxiliary out to run a visor or anything? Okay. So, so there, you can see that there. Anyway. If you are getting a tether, <laughs> make sure when you're at the store, when I found um, when I found the connector, I noticed it was a pin connector and we had uh, not pins. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to say there. So we gotta connect to that. So we're gonna have to hardwire this. I know I remember when I did my, when I did my tether now, I had to specify it was for an 850 and it was different, so. Case in point, this is probably for an 800, and uh, we're gonna have to hardwire that in there.
I mentioned this in my can video, but this comes out with the suitcase and you definitely want to make sure you have that little piece of rubber for when you put the can. Now that we've got the uh, exhaust out, we can see the power dome again from a different angle, Kurt. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. And look at how good that looks. Yep, there. Well, that looks good, dude. Nice way to spend a Friday night. Kind of wa wondering if we're going to run out of uh, space on this SD card, to be honest. So. What I might do right now is say, I'm gonna stop this and we'll show you at the end. I think we've probably seen enough of the process of putting Here's it all right now. And we'll show you when it's all kind of done. But it's definitely looking good. And while I'm thinking about it, so, so far, this side's done. We're still going to put on the skis, which we'll show you when it's all said and done, which are over here. We put the can on and a tether. The uh, short windshield was supposed to be a today thing, but we uh, needed that a little sooner than we anticipated, I think, right? Yeah, a little mishap. <laughs> so that's okay. That means that, you know, you're having a good time. But now that these are on, even on this sled stand, actually you can see how you've definitely got that. I really like that extra clearance on there. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. So actually I'm gonna take this tripod and kind of crank it down so we can see everything that... Everything under here, all this good stuff. So... There you go. A lot more clearance. All right, so we're gonna keep working away and we'll show you in a few minutes what this looks like when it's all put together. And by a few minutes, I probably mean like a few hours. It does look like a really good quality piece of kit, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Like, it doesn't look like it's of a lower quality stock. There's stock to compare it to. But as soon as you put, <laughs> as soon as it's on there, it's like, wow. Look at that, ever budget here. And this guy's obviously, uh, he's made it. There it is, done. Now, it was a bit of a struggle to get the sway bar hooked up, but we figured that out. We had to fab up a spacer there as well. What size of pipe was that? I don't know. Anyway, so you might have to do that. Put a can in, put a tether on. That low windshield is on now. It was on kind of coming in, but anyway fully transform, grease the skid, and ready we're good, to ready to go. Put a new belt on, new plugs. new plugs, ready to go, looking good. Good job. <laughs> and we are testing the maiden voyage. Look at all this. All right, so there's just a little taste of how it does. Tune in next time for a review on, well, we'll actually get out and ride this a little bit more, but. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that's a good, maybe that's a good spot to end. Anyway, um, if you're into this kind of thing, feel free to like, subscribe and all that stuff. We'll see you next time. Ciao.